In this video, we are discussing the blessing and curse of an extremely rare medical condition called hypothymesia, the ability to remember almost everything. Hypothymesia, also known as highly superior autobiographical memory, is a brain disorder which leads people to remember large amounts of their life experiences in vivid detail. People with hypothymesia can recall almost every day of their lives in near perfect detail. As of the recording of this video, there are only around 70 people in the entire world diagnosed with hypothymesia. This makes it an extraordinarily rare condition as well as a fascinating brain disorder. People affected with hypothymesia describe their memories as uncontrollable associations. So when they recall a date, they can see a vivid depiction of that day in their minds. For most of us, memory is a blurred and fragmented collection of snapshots in our mind. But for people with hypothymesia, it's like playing a full HD video in their mind. On first impression, it might seem to be a blessing to have a near perfect memory. Emma Vesa was not born with hypothymesia, but on the 15th of December in the year 2000, at his friend's 16th birthday party, he met his first girlfriend. For some reason, this young love triggered something in his brain, and from every day since that day, Nima Vesa has been able to remember every single day in vivid detail. Another person by the name of Jill Price contacted a neuroscientist called Jim McGow and told him that she was able to remember every single day of her life since the age of 14 and asked him for his help to explain what, a, what was happening in her brain. McGowell then invited Jill to his lab and started by testing her on world events on different days. Jill was able to recall almost every single one of these. Five-time Globe Award nominee Marilu Henna is an actress who also has hypothymesia and she demonstrates her ability in this CBS interview. Like these shoes, I wore them October, the, the first time I wore them October 18th, 2007. These I wore on uh, April the 21st of this year, so that was a Tuesday. Oh, these shoes I got a long time ago, 1982. I got them on April the 9th, so that was a Friday of 1982. Marilu also says that she actively trains her brain to enhance this ability. So I think it was a real combination of nature and nurture. I mean, they explained last night, which was the first time I heard it, that we had a certain area of our brains that's larger than most people's. But I know that it's also been a muscle that I've exercised, mm -hmm. you know, muscle. Interestingly, the perfect recall only applies to personal autobiographical events. So impersonal information, such as lists or random facts, they're no better than the average person. So people with hypothymesia do not necessarily do better at school. It's also fascinating to know that the memories are not 100% perfect and people with hypothymesia can sometimes remember world events that never happened. So even extraordinary brains can make ordinary mistakes. So why is hypothymesia also a curse? Well, people with hypothymesia can find it very difficult to form relationships because they can remember every single bad thing that someone has said or done. This makes being able to forgive and forget impossible for these people. Jill Price reports that her streams of memories can be extremely disruptive to her daily life and activities as she is often thinking about the past and finds it very difficult to be in the present and think about the future. Jill describes her recollection as non-stop, uncontrollable and totally exhausting. It's important to say that not everyone with hypothymesia experiences this and there are several cases where this isn't the case. So what causes hypothymesia? Well, it's extraordinarily difficult to study this because there are so few people in the world with this condition. But Jill Price fortunately did agree to have an MRI study done. And the MRI study showed that the temporal lobe and the chordae nucleus parts of the brain were enlarged. The hippocampus, located in the medial temporal lobe, is involved in memory processing of facts and events this is also known as declarative memory. And the temporal cortex is involved in the storage of these memories. The chordate nucleus is primarily involved with procedural memory, such as habit formation. 
A large chordate nucleus is also seen in patients with obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. Although these conditions are not thought to be linked, it's also speculated that hypothymesia could be caused by a defect in the frontostriatal circuit, possibly from abnormal neurodevelopment in childhood. Researching hypothymesia was super fascinating for me. So if you found this video interesting, hit the like button and thank you in advance. Subscribe for more brain content and to achieve better brain health. Join me on this video to learn more about the human brain. I'll see you there. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.